Good evening, everyone. My name is Someshwar. I welcome all of you on behalf of Art of Living Organization to Yoga Shishta Evening Session. Namaste, Mr. Someshwar. You all are Art of Living Sanstha's team. Yoga Shishta's ke Sayan Kal's ke Sapran Swagat. Today we are on 141 session. 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 Today we are on uh, we are going through the Pashan Akhyan. There is this very beautiful story of something called as Pashan Akhyan. Pashan means stone and the Akhyan means the story of that and how the entire universe that can sustain even within the Shila, within the Pashan is something that we are looking at. And now we are on the uh, sub-chapter number 11 of that and we are on the 117th chapter of the 7th chapter that is the Nirvan Prakaran Uttarada. So we'll look at it. This is very beautiful uh, uh, topic. There is a very curious topic rather that uh, is going to come today. It's about the ghost. Does ghost exist? No? If so, no, how can we understand that topic? More dimensions to that topic is something that we will discover today. So uh, I welcome all of our Zoom participants, all of our YouTube viewers, and all of our Facebook viewers. Let's continue with the session now. Let's all sit comfortably around the bed. Your spine erect. Close your eyes. Neck straight, shoulders relaxed. And let us bring back our attention to our breath. Take a normal breath in and let go. Take a deep breath in and let go completely. For Omkar chanting, let's breathe in. Om. Om. Let us invoke the divinity within. Guru Shakti ka avahan karle. Avahanam. Sachidanand Rupo Ham Shivo Ham Shivo Ham Shivo 
Let us express our gratitude towards the master. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Deva Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma, Tasmai Shri Guru Venama, Tasmai Shri Shri Guru Venama. Let us pray to the Divani, to the Master. Whatever the words that come out of this mouth, whatever the actions that are happening, whatever the thoughts that hover on to this mind and the power of discrimination arise in our intellect. The impressions that might be getting created in our memory and still there is an iota of that I, I, me, me. Let all that be inspired by the master alone. Pray like this. While walking on this path, if you have already experienced that mukti, moksha, freedom, then let its remaining life also be inspired by that same Guru Shakti. Pray like this. And the divinity, that Shakti, that Shiva, that Brahma is present, omnipresent and omnipotent. So feel the presence of the master within and outside. And with a gentle smile on your face, you may open your eyes. Dheere, 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 dheere. Jagadev, let's continue with our session. So uh, we are looking at the story of Pashan Akyan, where we saw that how does Vashishtamani gets into the meditation, he stays there in uh, that uh, position for um, the years after that, he comes to his Jagrat Avastha and then he happens to uh, see there is some sound coming, but he doesn't, uh, not able to see. Again, he gets into the Chirakasha Sarup and then he sees that there is this Vidyadari. Hmm? who comes into picture and then uh, he has a conversation with her where she requests, after telling her story, she requests that, okay, kindly uh, um, enlighten me, kindly give knowledge. Both of them goes to this Pashana. There is this stone, Sheila, called Pashana. And then uh, they happens to enter into that, again by becoming into the Chida Pasha Suru. And where Vashishtamani sees the entire pralaya, the end of this world which is there, into that Pashana. So after that, see all the things where we saw the Rudra and the Rudra and it's sort of in a very detailed description. So this is going on almost from the last uh, few sessions. We are discussing this in detail. And while telling this story, there's a very insights about a aspects of our own life, aspects about our um, Astitva you know, that is coming into picture our existence that is coming into picture and there is very beautiful knowledge that is getting unfolded every single day as we go deep and deep with it. So this continues and then once he comes after, out of that uh, Pasha Naveni completely again sees that this is not just one Brahman, this is not just one universe. Now he start looking, he, he gets into that Divya Drishti and he start looking at that universe almost everywhere. See that in every particle of the universe, there is a um, there is this universe, and he also himself sees even that universe within him. You know? So he experienced that something called as Swayam Hu, the one who creates you know? Swayam Hu, hmm? that that Shambhu, that Swayam Hu, that Shambhu which is there within us, that Shiva, that Shiva Tattva that is there within us, that Atma, Paramatma, Brahma, various names we call it. No, it is that tattva which is experienced and he sees that even inside body also, he sees the entire universe. Hmm? In, so that is how he continues and then he experiences that uh, we also saw the concept of very beautiful concept and very beautiful technique of Sayyam and the laws of attraction. How does they go hand in hand that if one decides and they contemplate and they have an attention and focus on one particular thing in their life, definitely they will be able to achieve that. Now that is why uh, 
and doing the sayam sayam is the combination of your dharana your dhyana and your meditation getting into the samadhi meditative state of mind contemplating on that become one with that no so then this entire universe will come and help to achieve your fulfillment to achieve what you are looking for so that is very powerful say so if you look at it from the archetypal perspective you go and do the happiness program you um, experience the advanced program and once you have completed four such advanced courses and one such some sir samadhi course you will become eligible to go and do your sayam program so definitely if you are not definitely go and experiences all this program depending upon where they were yeah whatever you have done earlier you go to the next level so using this dharma it's in the uh, yesterday session is vashishta muni assumes the form of the earth he assumes the form of the earth and uh, today we'll see that he even assumes the form of the different different five elements so while a um, assuming those form um, not just assuming he becomes one with the he he takes the form of the earth he becomes the earth he becomes that uh, um earth element you know he become that and he experiences that so like that he experiences the all other elements also so that is very descriptive manner it is given in the chapter number 117 here which is of the pashana akyan 11th sub chapter of that right so but while explaining that here he differentiate between the kalpana drishti and the tattva drishti means something which is just imaginated and something which is true on the principle level that vision that divya drishti that is at the level of the principle that is the tattva tattva drishti on the level of that and the kalpana drishti what is it that so he explained that like they say rama i have experienced that brahmanda that universe multiple such brahmanda we we have been talking about the multi multiverses and the concept of parallel universe and look at that vashitamuni 7000 years ago he was talking about that and yes is that i have experienced this I have seen this n number of time happening like this it was such a beautiful insight so he says that like this i have seen these worlds no with that curious uh, sight no with a curiosity with kautuk and then i also felt that that vismay that wonder uh, after watching all these things no? so like that i did this i became the earth element after that i all uh, well, these things so here rama has the question that bhagwan whatever this um earth that you become earth and that point of time the we also experience that there is an earth here and then we see it in the form of a grass there where there is a stone there is a, um all this <coughs> things are there which are at the grassroots level that thing is there so when you saw it was it like for you it was a real or it was even that same at the level of your manomay or the sapna may lo is what you always talk about it was at that so that is where the vishishtamuni answered that see rama there are two types of drishti here one is the kalpana drishti that you imaginated things and the second one is the tattva drishti so if you see it from the perspective of kalpana drishti then from that all these things stones and uh, mud and all these things that earth element is full of that so that is what you say if you see it from the perspective which you is to appear to me like a grass that's thula la and this all these things the same prithvi the same element and the body of that prithvi that thing was simply the mano matra it was just at the level of the mind and it this all this vikaru this parinam if you see it was at the level of moolata into the mind so it was the mano matra it was created in the mind i i did not go and physically become anything but it is just at a level of mind i assume that so that is the so like that this and both the thing so either at the level of stool which is appears like that or at the level of chitta that is at the level of your mind both if you see both the things i appeared it in both the forms means i practically became the um uh, prithvi i practically became the earth element um if you see from the perspective of stool that one drishti and from the tattva drishti if you see it was it was at the level of chitta so that is both the things and he said both the tattva drishti so the things if you see that in uh, if you see from the tattva drishti that one thing i i did not become stool neither i uh, did it in the uh, level of mind so the first two either stool or at the level of chitta that is the kalpana drishti 
And if you see it from the Tattva Drishti, that Atmanubhav, Anubhav, from that Drishti, he said, neither of that thing happens to me because I am beyond all these things. At the level of Chaitanya, I permeated, I permeated into all these things, which I told you that I entered into this. I experienced that I, as a Chaitanya, I permeated into it and I have experienced that as an Atma. So I did not become any one of them. But at the Alpana Drishti, yes, I became both of them. So like that, he says, at the two level, I become physical. At the level of Chitta, it was in the mind. And from Tattva Drishta, it was neither of them. Hmm? That is what he clarifies to the Rama regarding the Kalpana Drishti and Tattva Drishti. So if you look at it from the Tattva Drishti, there is just unreal. Everything is just unreal. So like that. So he continues to say that like this Rama, at the level of that even becoming that Pita Mahabrahma Dev, that Sankalpa Nagri into that Chida Akasha, this Bhu Prishta, that uh, earth element got expanded over there because using the Dharana Vyasa, which we saw that Sayyama, Dharana, Dhyan, and Samadhi. I, I, that Vasana, that craving, basically to you want to be earth. What is it that? No, that is also Icha only, right? That is also Vasana. So if one such Icha becomes Drud, because you are continuously contemplating on the same thing, it will, it, it consolidates, you know, that Vichara, that you just the thought, which consolidates in the form. So that is exactly what happened with me also, that I consolidated that, I made that Druda Bhavana, that Druda Icha, uh, and using that Dharana, using that thing, this Kalpit Sarupa, this Bhu Mandala, that came into existence, and then I saw that, and I accepted that, but I told you, not related to it. So like this is that, this Rama, if you see it from the perspective of all these universes, which I'm telling, you know, they are in reality, they are that Shunya, Parama Shanta Sthir, Nishal Siti, that from the starting, you know, without any karma, that is completely vap, that Drishyaman, Sthula, Prithvivadi, Sarvatra, that is Asat. So whatever is, there are two things which are spoken here, one is Asat and something is Sat. The one which you are able to do, that means you are able to see, that is the Sat. For example, your force, physical body, you know, that is something called as Sat. And something which is very subtle, you know, which is awake, means you, you are not able to express that. So that is called as Asat, not visible. Something which is hidden is called Asat. So these are the two discrimination between that thing is being also told here. So right there, he says that if you see it from the Atma Sarupa perspective, uh, this Nanatva, this different, different duality, a Nanatva, a Ved, Ved and a Ved. Nastitva means not existence. Astitva, existence. No? Both the thing. And we cannot even see this. We can even not say, say even this. It is neither of this titi, it is neither of this. Something which is beyond that, no, that bhavana, that is that emotion. How can that be true? Where this inside or outside, how that can even be true? No? So, like that, she said that if something is that, and in despite of that, if one experiences this is all truth, this is also this anubha, this experience if someone is getting, no, that this is not real or this is something real, in both the situation, that atma, that uh, soul, that thing, that is only the Satcha Brahma, that is only the pure Brahma, that is what it can give. So like this, he explained that he, um, whatever the things that are revolving around, that Sayyam, that Dharma, he removes those um, doubts also of Rama. Then he says that like this, I continue, and then he continues to explain like this, uh, only the Dharma, that Sayyama, or the Jala Tattva, and I became the Jala Tattva. Hmm? And uh, when, when I become the Jala Tattva, I I saw that everything, um, whatever that thing, I became the ocean and inside you know, all those bubbles were uh, coming up, all the waves were coming up. I experienced that. Then I entered into the body of all the animals and I became in the form of that blood and the blood were flowing because of my presence over there. So because of my presence, only when some point of time I became, I got touched with the uh, Vayu uh, and uh, at the level of that air that is where I started floating around uh, and the same thing I became the cloud and then I was also raining so like whatever that can happen with Jala Tattva that Jala is something which is very beautifully explainable that he is expressing that I did all that like that he continues like that he says that even I became the Tej Swarupa 
I got into the stage. I became the fire element. I I saw myself as radiating that uh, Prakasha, radiating that light in the form of sun and moon, in the form of all the nakshatras, all the stars. I saw myself as the fire. I saw myself as the fire at the time of pralaya. Hmm? which was burning in all these things. So whatever the Tej Swarupa, that thing is I experienced in that form also. So he continues to explain that I experienced the Prithvi, earth element. I experienced the Jala, the water element. I experienced the fire, um, that is the uh, fire element, Agni Tattva. Uh, then I experienced the Vayu Tattva, the air element also. So he became after that, I became the Vayu. And then I have experienced that Tattva also. So he explains that things happen with the Vayu, you know, how that Vayu carry out the, carry the Sugandha, how it goes, enters into the body of the human, became, becoming the Prana and all that. So that is also he uh, explains over here. So he says that Jivan Mukta, that Antar Jivan 13, if you see it from that perspective, uh, this is the way I have experienced that as myself into this life. So this way that this is the Brahma Bhava and the Jagat Bhava. How did I experience? Have I experienced it separately? So here Vashishtaman explains that the Jagat Bhava and the Atma Bhava, both of them, I experienced them simultaneously. So while experiencing all this five element, I was into the Jagat Bhava, yet I never ever uh, left that awareness of being into Atma Bhava. That awareness was always there. It was constant throughout even uh, when I was experiencing the Jagat Bhava. So that is what he um, clarifies to him, that both of them, I experience it simultaneously. Now, this is where the story proceeds. And then uh, Vashishto Muni explains that there is this one, uh, Siddha. And to David, that's, uh, I had a conversation uh, that comes under the Pashanakyan chapter number 12. So we'll look at it, what exactly happened in that. So after looking all these things, what we saw that he saw that Pralaya into the Brahmana, that into the Shila Pashana, then he experiences all these different, different worlds over here. Then he himself assumes the uh, form of the five element and experience all that. And after that, he says to Rama, after experiencing all these things, then I have again, I uh, wanted to go back and I went back to the that place where I started doing the meditation. And so my body was still there. I am traveling here at the level of Chida Kasha. At the level of I wanted to go back into my own body. So now this is where that uh, concept of that Pishacha, that ghost, that thing comes into picture. It will come in a little while. Let us see how it unfolds. So he goes there and he saw that um, his body is not there. And... Um, uh, as what is not there, he says there is one uh, another person only sitting in, at that place and he is into a meditative state of mind. So he is into completely nirvikalpa samadhi, he is into meditative state of mind. So now Vashishtamuni cannot do anything with him, he doesn't go on to disturb him, that he says no, no problem, let him do his meditation, let me go back to my own place and let the sat, using the satya sankalpa of Vashishtamuni that uh, kuti, that uh, place to meditate was created at the moment he drops it out of his chitta, automatically that kuti, that kuti, kuti which is in the space, that also um, vanishes because his sankalpa is no more there uh, to have that. No? So he wants to go back to that sati sankalpa is not there, that also completely vanishes and the person who is meditating over there, he falls from there. Hmm? He falls from there on the earth. But yet he does not, uh, yet he is a yogi, he does not go anywhere. He is just like that Urdhvagami, that Shakti. He has pulled himself into the Urdhvagami, Sahasrara Chakra. He was complete into that same Padmasana. The seated position only landed onto the earth. He did not go here and there. And despite of all such things happened, he was still continued to meditate. He did not come out of meditation. Because he was also Siddha, he was also yogi. So after that he came, then Vashishtamani also with the Mano Yoga, with the speed of the mind, he also traveled along with him and then he put an effort and using some uh, things, he made him come out of that sadhana, that meditation. And uh, once he came out of that sadhana, he asked that, um, who are you? Um, you were meditating in such a, such a safe place. And what is it? What is the marriage, etc.? Kindly introduce yourself to me. So this is where this Siddha introduced um, 
uh, himself to uh, Vashishta Muni is that, that please give me some time. I just came out of the meditation. Um, now let me just see what has actually happened. And then he closes his eyes and then he see what has exactly happened with him. And then he opens up his eyes and then he bowed out to Vashishta Muni and say, Vashishta Muni, uh, when I initially saw you as even though I am a Siddha, even though I am like that, but yet I was, if I am, if my Chitta is not at place, no, if you, you are not focused, if you are, that Ekagrata is there, even for the Siddhas, like you and me, uh, we do not tend to see what we are supposed to see. Exactly the same situation happens when the Vidya Dariya and Vashishtamani goes to that Pashana. Near the Pashana, they do not, they do not see anything within the Pashana, because they are at the, they are they, not, they have left that subtle level. They have come to grass level. And grass root level, if you decide to see something from your eyes, you don't see it. So this is even applicable to the Siddhas also. So it's applicable to you and me. Uh, because of that, only when I saw you first time, I did not bow down to you. I did not welcome you. I did not express my gratitude. Now that I know who you are, let me express my gratitude. Like that, he bowed down to assist me. And he asked for the forgiveness that I, as I did not honor you, respect you, kindly forgive me. So like that, he says. And uh, this way, he, he support that statement with using this thing, which we just, just saw. So you push it to me also, this is, it's exactly the same thing. See, I also did not recognize you. I shouldn't have um, took that Satya Sankarpa out and you fall because of that. Even you also forgive me. So both of these, because both are sense, both are siddhas, how they treat each other, how they acknowledge, even if there is a mistake, they acknowledge that mistake. That is a very great takeaway here. No? That acknowledge, it's okay. Say sorry, shama mago, and even say sorry, ask for the forgiveness. And even if you somebody is there, you do have that bigger mind, that karuna to forgive also. Hmm? The forget and forgive is the key here. That is what both of them seems to follow. And that is where the conversation starts. So uh, this is where these things happen. And after that conversation, then um, he says, now you continue. You go where you, you want to go. And I will also go. And like that, both of them just, just, uh, just like that rocket that is launched. Both of them just are launched from their position and they disappear in the air. Now, after that, Vashishta Muni uh, goes into the Siddha, this uh, things where he wants to go. And that point up in the Rama asks the question here. Rama is very aware. Huh? He is very intelligent, very aware. And he's asking the right question so that the nectar can come out. He asks that Siddha was there. He had a body. He was meditating at your place. What did happen to your body? You were doing something else. The Sattva body, you were somewhere out. What about your body? If that is not your body, if you are not in the body, you went to that in the there, and what is it that happened? No? So that point of time, he, Rama asked the question that does ghost exist? Kya bhut hote hai? Or hote hai to unka fir vargan kya hota hai? That is where this question comes into mind. Look at this question, how this question have arised. So here Vashishti Muni says to Rama, Anyway, this question is not that relevant here, but yet as it is for the Guru, uh, if disciple ask any question, it's not a good idea to proceed with the session unless until the uh, that curiosity of the disciple is answered, he becomes calm and quiet. Uh, let me, although it is not a relevant subject over here, uh, not that I wanted to talk about it, but as you have raised it, as you have asked for that, let me let me throw a light on this. So that is where he said that when I went uh, into that sabha and when I saw that uh, the entire court of that Indra was going on there, and that is I went and um, I saw that everybody was able to see me because I was into that subtle body. I was not in my physical body, so I was into that subtle body, so nobody was able to see me. So he says that's fine, but then how come that Siddha saw you? So I'll say that is possible. If you take a sankalpa that okay, you want to appear in front of me, you will be able to do that. That is exactly what we saw. The initially that Saraswati and this Leelavati Padmaraja story. When first time the uh, Pad, this Leela goes to the Padmaraja's next birth, nobody sees her. But the next time when she goes along with Saraswati, 
to that vashishta vashishta means not vashishta as padma rajas earlier but hmm? that was vashishta brahmana so that is a different vashishta when they go to there that with that their sankalpa they are able to appear and talk with the son her own son she have an interaction so that is how it has happened with me when i spoke to the siddha i i i took that sankalpa so that i can appear in front of him and that is how i had a conversation so that also doubt is being clarified here no so uh, what happens then um, when he goes to the indra sabha that uh, point of time there no because i did not had a body so i was traveling and many different subtle body that sukshma linga dehati vaik sharir only with that only i was traveling so i travel over there and then i saw these things were going on and then i saw somebody is falling so i um, given my hand to them to protect but they could not hold on to my hand so no? so something like that even uh, i some point of time i just forgot that i am just into this um, ativaik sharir and i started uh, shouting there i started helping for helping but then nobody was even li listen to my voice nobody was because nobody was able to see me no so that is where that question of that pishacha goes no life after death or how does it that thing comes into picture so this is the question that rama asked to vashishtami and this way the vashishtami explains about this thing no after explaining this siddha and his vivek his vairagya and how does he gets into that and both of them how politely interacts with each other is something which we saw no so that point of time this vashishtami was traveling at the level of this subtle body that is also we saw so with that satya sankalpa and that siddha sankalpa because of that only i appeared in front of you that is what he mentioned so when rama asked you this question to him regarding the uh, pishacha regarding the bhut the ghost huh? what is it that vashishtamuni so he says that this is one more chamatkar this is one more miraculous thing that has happened rama with me when i appeared to go into those siddha samudaya no that point of time the indra the lokpal etc they were all traveling over there and because i was into that subtle body they could not see me but i used to even um, start giving them uh, i was shouting and saying something but nobody was able to see me that is the point of time rama so i was like a um the ghost he said that i was like a ghost who is traveling into the akasha like that this sthiti i my situation was like that into that devaloka this avarnaniya pishaksha so that anubhava that experience is a uh, what i got because vashishtamuni is there he can never become a ghost so just an experience similar experience to that ghost is what i got he is telling like this to rama and this is where the rama asked that oh god in this loka in this loka that our loka bhu loka does the pishach this bhuta the ghost that what you are talking about they exist if so what is the form of them if so then what is the class what are the are there any different types of ghost over here and then if they how they do how do they behave how do they live over here etc etc what is it in their antaranga what is it that how they appear like this all this the questions are really really curiosity for me i am really being curious about it uh, you you know everything you are sarva gani you are brahma gani you are atma gani you know everything can you please do that can you please bless me with that knowledge also about that thing so it is where poshishmani says that rama this vishay is actually not a relevant <laughs> subject over here yet uh, just because you have asked that question it is not a good idea for me to uh, disappoint my disciple so i am telling you about it otherwise there is no need to even get into details of any such question over here so that is where say that this pishach this goes they are into the akasha this chida akasha into the form of sukshma very subtle you no know, into the form of very viral means there is no grass root level body is that they were holding they are just like an ativaik sharir manomaya you no know, at the level mind at the level of chitta akasha they are like into that so if you see it from the perspective of sapna sapna deha no in the sapna deha do you have your hands and you have these things even though you see them it is there do they actually exist like that brahma that in the chitta that bhram arise and in that brahma only that chaya that shadow of your deha that uh, appears to uh, appears over there 
in the form of the pishacha, in the form of the ghost here. So what is it that they do? What is it that it is related to this uh, things? How does they behave with the um, humans here? So there are different, different types of those ghosts. And some of them, what they do, they create the hallucination. Uh, what they do, they enter into the uh, chitta of the human and in the chitta of the human, they create a hallucination. They create the Brahma and then um, they become the Tadatma. They become one with their chitta of that being and they give them trouble. They trouble because their senses are too trouble. So they give them the sorrow. They give them this. They, then they give the prerna. They um, ex, uh, uh, give the inspiration to do certain things which are... Um, um, uh, that oriented things like that. So like that, they, and some of them even even Caleb. So like that, he explains that um, that something, some previous causes are there like that. They use this Shakti, and because of that, even they um, uh, make that person very very weak. Some of them even the they uh, su suck their blood, and they make them agathic, mistake and weak very close like that and they sometimes even do the hints also like this rama this is the uh, this is the acharana of some of the ghosts like that hmm? that is where say so he continued to explain what what is about the pishacha its akara and its chati so that is the point of him he says that there is they do not have any such akara they are at the level of subtle body so there is no physical akara that is there yet they appear in various different different uh, ways sometimes they appear like just like there is a um, that smoke is there like that smoke they appear sometimes um, they appear like that swapna purusha the man in the dream sometimes they appear like clouds the mega samoa you know sometimes they appear just like an air Hmm? Nothing appears, but they just still go and hear. So this is all Brahmatma. Hmm? This is all cre uh, like creates an hallucination. That kind of things. That is how they are. No, nobody can catch them. Nobody can hold up them. Nobody can catch them from via sthula sharira. Hmm? From sthula means somebody wants to go and catch them with the hands. You will not be able to. Same with the them. They are also not um, able to hold on to anything. Something which is physical. They are also not able to hold them. So they remain in that shunya, that, that thing which is completely hollow and empty, like that. They are agochar, even to the, they are into the vayuru, no? just like in a year, they say. Then even they go through all these things, warmth and depth and um, the different seasons and this, they, they are able to experience that, you no, know, in the that thing. But they are not able to um, uh, eat anything. They are not able to drink the water. They are not able to eat anything. No, they are not. They do not have those powers in them. Hmm? So they also have the ichas. The the way we uh, as a human being have the cravings and the ichas and vasanas. They also go through. They also experience the jealousy, dvesh, fire, fear, krodh, anger, love, greed, moha, attachment, entanglement, etc., etc. They also go through this. The tapa dana dharmachara yoga teach, and then the one who is practicing the tapa dana dhairya the dharmachara various different things they are able to have and control over those pishach. Okay? very less frequent point of time these are there of which they can appear and in the um, uh, just like in physical form. They are whether they are able to speak or not. If you ask me, this is the sattva, sattva vashtabham. That is the yoga dharma. There is one particular technique that tantra is given here called sattva vashtambha. Sattva vashtambha. If somebody practice this yoga dharana and using this yoga dharana, they get this vishishta siddhi. They get this shishta shakti and using the mantra, mantra vidya and vishishta prayoga very particular type of practices uh, that and the aradhana of devatas hmm? the worshiping the god and japa and tapa no? austerity uh, to only to those people no when they have attained those siddhis only to those people um, uh, does this ghost appear otherwise for the normal human beings they can't see with an open naked eyes that okay there is a ghost only those people they can appear and then they can have a control over them. Hmm? 
these people they they do not they are not able to affect those yogis and those siddhis no that is what is being said so in this uh this this technique is very rare that achieving that siddhi is very rare not everybody uh, able to achieve that then um uh, the ramaya was to what is the class of them so here rama explains them that rama this devatas these gods have 11 different yonis no out of them there is this there is a mention of this pishachi yoni also because of that that is one of the yonis of the gods because of that the devas the gods they possess those siddhis no the anima means uh, becoming small garima means becoming heavy hmm? or becoming big into a matter of this ikshana that into the moment they are able to get uh, high themselves they are able to in the next uh, thing they can become the drishya they can appear or uh, they can uh, take the subtle body small uh, sharira they can become big all these different from siddhis are also with them with those ghosts and pishacha hmm? and then because of that they are able to um, take any form that they want depending on the darja there is also the level depending upon their practices and all that they are able to experience that sukha and dukha upabhoga of that like the one deva and the manusha goes through it hmm? so like them so some of them even take the forms of like snake some of them take the forms of the horses and the dogs also like that also they appear hmm? like that not that they they to form they just appear like that so like this this pishacha their utpatti and then swabhavish how it is that really they formed how is the decreed so here vashishtha muni says that if where do they stay the vashishtha muni says that they usually stay at the places where there is nobody near nirjana means the place nobody is staying at that place so some some of them stay into the forest some of them stay into the somewhere around the water that nala is there somewhere around that some of them are stays at the um bad places no some of them into the um not so good places they stay like that rama they stay uh, and then uh, it is been explained here that how does they do the karma and what is this utpatti and thing so how that is for something which i'll explain you you listen to that so they have this manasa sankalp rupa into the brahma deva sattva vid guna vichitra this manushya di mukhya char par so they are say that just like the human being we see there are four types here also this ghost also are of four types into their jiva shrishti so which are those tamoguni the one who are having that tamogun tamas in them those who are prakashahin does not have light those who are kanti rahit and those who are nishpala hmm? like pashana they are just lying there like that these are the four different types of that and some of them have this into the pishach jati some of them have this drudha vasana drudha kat of their they have taken any particular rupa and they have a particular form but rama into this when they see themselves into these different different units into this different different species and their forms some of them are uh, experiencing that uh, santushti some of them are santushta and some of the pishach have that deh and that ninda bhavana that bhoga is with because of that um, if we see from the perspective of human being at the places that they see uh, the uh, in the uh, position that it's being depicted normally in movies that they stay but from their perspective if you see they do not have any ghruna towards that they do not feel bad about it that is what is they don't see that they are that city in situation where they stay as an in them it is like they they that is what is priya to them that is what they like it is how they there is this bibatsara size they know that gruna and bibatsara size they 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 enjoy that that is how they stay like that is a, that is how their vyavara is there hmm? so that is how they see to each other that is how they uh, behave like this so uh, then uh, it is also been explained that if you see that in this ishaji those dusht that the bad souls which are there that thing etc comes normally into the form of kubhand now there are some names that are given kubhand yaksha preet etc these are also two uh, different different jati the one which we saw the first one is from the pishach yoni there is also kubhand yaksha and preet yoni No? so like this that uh, that thing is there they stay at various places um, under the earth also and uh, that is where that uh, thing so that is also one thing he is explained here that just like the there are some animals 
who have a powers to be in the night. Nishachar is what we say. So they are able to see in the night. Like that, this Nishachar, they do not have that in their energies powerful in the daytime. They get very powerful in the night time. That is also in mention that because of their Tamogun, they are able to um, exercise their powers mainly during the daytime, but during the daytime, they hide themselves and think. So even though where they stand in the daylight and when the sunlight is falling, their andhakara, their that negativity is not being removed. That is that will still remain. And because of that, that thing is there. So like this, this Aghatita Leela, he says that such a miracle, uh, things that does exist in this world, Rama. Like if you see, say that from the perspective of that light, that Agni, Surya, Chandra, Prakash, Mandal, etc. This Pishacha, they usually happens to do the all the Vyavara and all the things into the night only. In the daylight, their Samartha, their powers are not really working over there. Hmm? Like that thing. So in a such a situation, such a miraculous Brahmanda world, we cannot really say that there's, uh, we cannot um, discard the possibility of such ghost being exist like that. Rama, as you have just asked this question, I happen to mention about it here, this etc. details, which I've shared with you, etc. Like, so it is just a wonder, this is just an asterisk. This, this is the way you look at it. Other than that, there is no need to go into details of this topic. It's not worth it. No, that is what uh, Oshishto Muni says and take a pause here. So just on the note here that as we are discussing, we do not promote any andhashraddha here. Um, any sort of wrong belief is not being promoted. It is just that something there is so many things are possible, such things also. So we do not get into any such dhungi babas or any such people who cheat uh, in the name of these things and then uh, they misguide people. Uh, it's really, really not a good idea to get into stuck into any such things. So it's very, it's good idea at such moment when we have a confusion about certain things, Gurudev always says that listen to the Guru Padesha. So let us listen to Gurudev, what Gurudev has to say about this goes, and then we will open up this session for your sharing or your questions about this talk. So I'll share my screen. Let's hear out what Gurudev has to say about it. के देख रहे हो मान लो जब जिस टेलीविजन को तुमने टीवी को तुमने खोला है वो एक चैनल तुम्हें देख तुम देख रहे हो देख रहे हो ना मगर बाकी सारी चैनल भी वहीं पर है उसके भी तरंग वहीं हैं है कि नहीं एक चैनल तो दिख रहा है बाकी सारी चैनल चैन, जो चैनल्स हैं तुम्हारे वहाँ के सौ के करीब चैनल के उनके तरंग वहाँ है कि नहीं हे इसी तरह से जब मृत्यु घट जाती है उसके बाद भी आत्मा सब जगह हो जाती है व्याप्त हो जाती है अब जिस किसी भी लोगों को तुम याद करते हो उनके प्रति कृतज्ञता व्यक्त करते हो उनके तरंग तुम्हें महसूस होगा वो ब्राह्मणों के द्वारा हो या गाय के या कौए के द्वारा कहीं किसके द्वारा होता ये नहीं ये गौण है आप तो आप जिसको याद करके उनके याद में कुछ करते हो 
उसका फल तुम्हें मिलता है तो मुख्य बात है जो भूखे हैं उनको भोजन खिलाओ उनको याद करके तो उनका आशीर्वाद मिलता है ऐसा नहीं जो खाए हुए हैं उन्हीं को खिलाते जाओ ये नहीं जो भूखे हैं उनको भोजन उनको जिनको भी तुम्हें याद करना हो श्रद्ध श्राद्ध का मतलब ये जो श्रद्धा से किया जाता है श्रद्धा से हम कहते हैं क्या श्रद्धा माने क्या है हम जानते नहीं देखते नहीं मगर हम मानते हैं इसी को श्रद्धा बोलते हैं क्या दिखने को नहीं मिलता है अपने इंद्रिय गोचर नहीं है फिर भी मानते हैं ऐसा करने से कुछ अच्छा होने वाला है ये ये सिर्फ हिंदुस्तान में ही ऐसा मत समझना ये दुनिया भर में है ऑल सोल स्टे करके विदेशों में भी मनाते हैं सिंगापुर में तो बहुत विचित्र ढंग से मनाते हैं सिंगापुर के हैं कोई यहाँ पर एनी वन फ्रॉम सिंगापुर हियर ओ है सिंगापुर में अब कल और भी आ जाएंगे यहाँ सिंगापुर में पता है क्या करते हैं जो अपने को चाहिए वो चीजें बना देते हैं मान ली तुमको कोई मर्सिडीज गाड़ी चाहिए कार्डबोर्ड में बड़ा सा मर्सिडीज गाड़ी बनाएंगे और उसको आग लगा देंगे जबकि सिंगापुर कहा गया है बहुत फाइन सिटी है मगर ये एक श्राद्ध के एक दिन तो वो पूरे सिटी में सब जगह जलाया जाता है लोग अपने तरह तरह के कोई बस जलाता है कोई फ्रिज जलाता है कोई गाड़ी जलाता है कोई नोट जलाता है खोटा नोट मिलता है उससे <laughs> मनुष्य ऐसा है अपना दिमाग मरने के बाद भी हम धोखा देने में लगे रहते हैं उनका <laughs> अरे वो मर उनको अपने ही पता होता क्या सच नोट असली डॉलर जला रहे हो या खोटा कागज के टुकड़े मिलते हैं उन दिन नोट डॉलर जैसे मगर वो सब खोटे होते हैं तो तुम्हें एक करोड़ चाहिए तो वो एक करोड़ पितरों को दे दो जला दो कहते हैं जल जाता है तो उनको पहुंच जाती है वो और वहां से दुआ मिलती है ये मान्यता भर है बात ये है अच्छा काम करो किसी का दिल न दुखाओ उनको प्रसन्न करो किसी को खाना खिलाओगे तो तुम्हारा भला होगा ही तर्पण देते हैं श्राद्ध में तर्पण में तो बच्चे पुरुखों को ज्ञान देते हैं बोलते हैं दादा दादी माता पिता आपके मन में कोई इच्छा हो तो वो आप छोड़ दीजिए वो तिल के बराबर है क्या बड़ी बात है हम उसको तृप्त कर हम उसको देख लेंगे आप तृप्त हो जाइए तीन बार कहते हैं तृप्यताम तृप्यताम तृप्यता आप तृप्त हो जाइए आप तृप्त हो जाइए आप तृप्त हो जाओगे तो हमें खुशी मिलेगी आपसे दुआ मिलेगी अतृप्त व्यक्ति किसी को आशीर्वाद दे नहीं सकता तृप्त हो जाना चाहिए तृप्त जो होते हैं उनसे दुआएं निकलती है इफ यू लाइक दिस विड
आत्मा भी देखा नहीं भूत भी देखा नहीं फिर भी आदमी मरने के बाद उसका श्राद्ध पक्ष क्यों करते हैं क्या सचमुच में आत्मा भूत योनि पिशाच योनि या स्वर्ग में जा सकती है सुनो ऐसा नहीं कि जो देखा नहीं है वो होता नहीं है ऐसा नहीं है इस दुनिया में जो कुछ भी हम देखते हैं वो जो है उसका ही छोटा सा टुकड़ा ही जो हमारे ज्ञान में आता है समझ में आता है वो बहुत कम है अनजान या अज्ञात बहुत अधिक मात्रा में है अंश में है इसलिए हम यही कह सकते हैं जो जैनियों में एक प्रथा है सियातवाद हो सकता है अनेकांतवाद कहते हैं ऐसा भी है हो सकता वैसा भी हो सकता ऐसा नहीं कैसा ही है दूसरा है ही नहीं ये नहीं कह सकता जब तक समष्टि को पूरी तरह से नहीं जानते हो तब तक दावा नहीं कर सकते हो तो तुम सब कुछ जानते या कोई चीज है या नहीं है ये नहीं कह सकते है तो कह सकते हैं कोई वस्तु या कोई परिस्थिति नहीं है कहने के लिए समष्टि का ज्ञान चाहिए और जो समष्टि को जान लेता है वो समष्टि ही बनता है फिर वो कुछ कह नहीं पा मुझे दुनिया में भगवान है वैसे ही भूत प्रेत भी है क्या हमने भगवान का अनुभव तो कर लिया है अगर भूत है तो उसका अनुभव कैसे करें देखो भगवान के साथ रहने से पास रहने से भूत प्रेत का अनुभव होना मुश्किल है भगवान से दूर जाओगे तो फिर भूत प्रेत कभी पकड़ भी ले तुम्हें इन सब भूत प्रेत की चक्कर में नहीं पड़ना वर्तमान में रहो भूत की चक्कर में नहीं रहना भविष्य की चिंता ना करो वर्तमान में रहो ठीक है ना गुरुजी इज ह्यूमन लाइफ प्री डिफाइंड बाय गॉड एट बर्थ और इट चेंजेस अकॉर्डिंग टू द टाइप ऑफ वर्क दैट इज डन इन दिस लाइफ साइकिल दोनों है इट्स बोथ देर इज फ्री विल एंड देर इज लॉट डिटर्मिन so that is where we were listening to gurudev shri shri ravi shankar ji on this topic so on a lighter note there is nothing to be very serious about it it's okay there is a possibility do not discard it but don't get to, don't get so much stuck into it and be free that is what the final take away so the unmute option is been made open here if you would like to contribute something if you'd like to say something you are welcome to say if you have any questions you are welcome to ask that also or to your take away Anyone wants to say something? Uh, I'd like to express anything about it. If not, then we'll close today's session. Our case sutra ko mlo yehi pe samapan karte hain so that we can meet tomorrow. Jai Gurudev.